I'm Meredith from Graco. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the seat cover on your SlimFit 3 LX 3-in-1 car seat. You're going to start by removing your infant supports. To remove the infant head support, undo the fastening strip at the back of the head support. Then slip the head support out of the headrest panel. To remove the body support, you can undo the buckle and the chest clip. If you need to, you can loosen the harness using the button at the front of the seat. Then to remove your body support, make sure you slip the buckle through. To remove your harness covers, undo the fastening strips on either side. Next, we're going to remove the headrest panel. Lift the headrest to the highest position using the handle at the top of the seat. Undo the snaps at the front of the seat. Undo the tab at the top of the headrest. Then on the back of your seat, undo the snaps on the back of the headrest. To remove the headrest panel, you're just gonna work it around the headrest on either side. And then slide it out of your harness straps. Next, we're going to remove the center seat pad. Undo the snaps on either side of the car seat. There's a snap on the side, at the top, and on the bottom. You're gonna repeat those steps on both sides and then undo the snaps at the front of the seat. Then work your seat pad around the harness straps and slip the buckle through. To remove your front seat pad, you're going to need to remove your cup holders first. You'll see on the side of the seat, there's a button to press to remove the cup holder. Press the button and pull the cup holder out. To remove your front seat pad, you're going to undo the snaps on either side of the seat. You'll see that the snap at the front of the armrest is attached to another seat pad below it. Then you're going to take your seat pad and work it around the cup holder hole. Undo the snap on the inside, and then undo the fastening strip. You're going to repeat the steps on the other side. There's also a bottom seat pad underneath. You likely won't need to clean this piece as often since it's covered by the front seat pad, but if you need to remove it, undo the snap on the side, then undo the snap on the front, recline the car seat to access the snaps underneath. Undo the snap on this side and then repeat the steps on the other side. To remove your side panel covers, you're going to just start by undoing the snaps on the inside of the car seat. Repeat that step on the other side. Then you're going to take your side panel cover and slip it off from the back. You'll notice that the cover is tucked inside, so you just want to slowly remove it to untuck from the hooks. And then do the same on the other side. There's also an additional piece at the top of the car seat. Again, this is a piece that you might not need to remove often for cleaning, but if you need to, you're just going to untuck it from the back then from the front of the seat, just take your headrest and move it down to the lowest position. And then undo the snaps at the front of the seat. And now you've removed your seat pad. Now that you've cleaned your seat cover, you're ready to put it back on the car seat. Start with your top pad. With the headrest in the lowest position, attach the top pad behind the headrest by attaching the snaps. Now at the back of the car seat, tuck the top pad underneath the hooks. Next, you're going to attach your side panel cover. Take the side panels and put it around the backrest. For this part, you can lift the headrest out of the way. Start by taking the snap and attaching it to the car seat on the inside. And repeat the step on both sides. Then on the side of the car seat, you're going to take your side panel cover and just wrap it around the side panel. Start at the bottom and just tuck the panel back around. There's two hooks that you're going to want to make sure the side panel is tucked underneath. Once you're tucked on that side, bring it around the back and repeat the step on the other side. Next, you're gonna take your bottom seat pad and attach it to the front of the car seat. There's snaps on the inside of the car seat 
and then a snap on the outside of the armrest. Recline the car seat to access the snaps underneath and attach on either side. Then move the car seat back up. Next, you're gonna attach your front seat pad over the bottom seat pad. Place the front seat pad over the armrest. You can start by working the seat pad around the cup holder hole. You wanna do that on both sides. Attach the seat pad to the fastening strips on the bottom seat pad. Attach the snaps on the inside and outside of the armrest to the bottom seat pad. And repeat the step on the other side. Lastly, make sure to attach the snap at the back of the armrest. Take your harness adjustment strap and pull it through the hole at the front of the seat pad. Take your seat pad and place it in the center of the seat. You want to make sure that when you pull the buckle through, the slot on the seat pad aligns with the slot on the car seat. Attach the seat pad to the snaps at the front of the front seat pad. Take your harness straps and place them in front of the seat pad. You want to make sure that the harness strap is routed through the slot opening on the seat pad. Attach the snaps on the seat pad to the side panels. Next, take your headrest pad and place it over the headrest. You wanna start by working it around each side of the headrest one at a time. Take the tab at the front of the headrest and place it in the opening behind the film. You wanna take your harness straps and bring them through the front, through the opening on either side. Snap the headrest pad to the headrest on either side. On the back of the headrest, you're going to attach the two snaps. Take your cup holders and reattach them to the holes on the front of the car seat. Take your harness covers and route them around the harness. You want to make sure that the fastening strip is facing out. Take your body support and make sure you route the buckle through the opening. Take the harness straps and move them to the front of the body support and make sure you pull the harness straps through the opening on the side of the body support. Replace your infant head support. Take the strap and route it behind the center headrest panel. Attach the fastening strips. Move the headrest back down to the proper position for your child. And now you're ready to put it back in the car.